Hey guys, and welcome back. We're starting to read the weeklies now. <clears throat> We're starting the weeklies, and ain't gonna be too long either. Get in and getting out, okay? So let's go see what we got for you, Aquarius. Sky, universe, <clears throat> angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. What messages do we have for the Aquarius this week? Messages for Aquarius. What they dealing with? How can they get through it? <laughs> Messages for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? What do they need to see? Messages for the Aquarius. Somebody could be ghosting you. You could be ghosting somebody. Mm hmm. Because they're toxic. Or they got low vibrational ways still. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What we got? Five of Cups. Being disappointed, but gaining a new perspective. Or taking a new direction to find a relationship. Because possibly somebody wanted one and didn't get it. First thing out is the Seven of Swords. I don't like that. Seven of Swords with the High Priestess, but somebody intuitively knows here. Somebody's being... Um, Somebody don't even have to be even be deceptive. They could be keeping something close to their chest. If somebody is being deceptive, somebody else knows it because they're intuitively they know. Okay? But somebody's not, I don't feel like the Seven of Swords is necessarily being deceptive. I feel like this is somebody keeping something close to their chest and not telling you. Intuitively knowing that they're going to make a decision, but they're just not expressing it to you. Like in a communicative uh, form. And I feel like um, Three of Swords, though. With the Willie, yeah, somebody's going to change the pain and heartbreak and the agony. This, something's going to cause a change here. And it's going to also put you in your head. But it could also free you from your head. But no. It's going to cause you to be confused a little bit to a source, but you're going to go ahead for the reconciliation. Death, rebirth, five of wands, five of swords. Yeah, you're going to be guarded, extremely guarded. And you're going to feel like there's competition too. You're going to not be so sure about this. You're not going to be so sure about this because you're going to feel like that it's competition. This person could have made you think it was competition or said something about competition. And now all you got on your mind now is a competition. But what this person might have said they got competition or they moving towards competition but what it is, is this person is telling Boo they're full of shit. They're keeping it close to their chest with the seven of swords that intuitively they already know they're moving towards you. They already know that what they said to you hurt you too. They already know that whatever they did hurt you. And that's what makes them even more want to come in here and change the wheel of fortune. They want to change that. They want to change that you're stuck in your head. They want to bring you out of confusion here and bring you into a reconciliation is what I'm feeling for you in Aquarius. Or this is you somebody else here somebody's trying to change put that change that frown on your smack put the what it make it make that frown and turn it upside down that's what they're trying to do turn that frown upside down to a smile seven of swords let's say what is this clarify it seven of swords yeah knight of swords somebody's on their way they fast could be a, a libra aquarius or a gemini could be also dealing with a cancer or a pisces or any other water sign yeah but look at that star somebody's telling you that they're on the way I'm doing 80 and a 60 fucking ticket. Because I ain't had it in a minute, in a minute. Somebody's coming to heal this with you because they feel like you're a soulmate connection. And intuitively, I don't feel like they're saying this to you. I feel like they're just doing it. And you don't know. Yeah, keeping it to their chest because they know that you make them happy. Intuitively, the high priestess is clarified by the six of wands and the sun. Somebody knows exactly what they're doing. They're, they're just doing it. Two of wands. They're just not telling you that they're doing it. Two of wands. Yeah, moon, because it's under the surface. They're keeping it low. They're keeping it hidden underneath the surface. Because all we can see is what's at the surface. So they're keeping it low. Three of wands, three of swords. So while you think you hurt, somebody's taking charge of your heart, your, your heartbreak. Could be a, a fire sign if you're dealing with Larry, a Ebra, a Ebra. A, a Aquarius, no, that's not, that's you. Um, a Sagittarius, um, a Aries. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or a... Um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Could be dealing with one of them signs, okay? But I feel like what you don't see coming is somebody's going to move you forward through this heartbreak. Okay, they obsessed with you. Little do you, do you know, they feel like they bound to you. Okay, they like you walking away where? No, you're not. Come back here. Okay? It's about to be a big sudden change with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like divine timing has approached and something's going to change here. And it's going to change swiftly. Why is the ten of wheels? Why is the, why is the wheel? Yeah, because the heart space is opening up. 
You know, look at that. Temperance reverse. Temperance reverse. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, looks like somebody's going to be... It's, the, the, it's imbalance. Or if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're retreating from you. Okay, and that's what changes things. And they feel like that... For, I don't, even if you're not dealing with a Sagittarius, even if you're dealing with any other sign, they, they're seeing you as toxic or they're seeing you as low vibration and they're starting to walk away. So then you jump right up and change that because you don't want that. That's why I say it could be a Sagittarius with the tempers reversed. You don't want the Sagittarius or this other fire sign, whoever it is, you don't want them walking away. So that's when you decide you're going to open up your fucking heart space. You're going to offer this motherfucker love and you're going to offer them fucking ten of cups because that's what the fuck you want. That's what they want. I don't know if this is what you want too. This is what they want. What you want is for them to stay. So it makes everybody Everybody happy. Okay, okay. You taking a leap of faith here. Some type of leap of faith that you'll be taking to, to have something stable, something equal give and take to bring offer love, offer an apology after somebody retreated. Could be a Virgo involved. Ace of Swords. Not ace. I meant to say eight. Now look, the ace of swords came out with the eight. So this is somebody getting clarity. This is somebody knowing exactly what they want. Look at that. This is this is you. Aquarius, this is you, this is somebody, um, this is you changing or somebody changing, this is you having clarity or speaking clarity, somebody giving somebody truth, and, and, and you know, because they feel stuck or trapped about some, some something that was grown in the past that keeps you stagnated, maybe even you got a baby or something that you're trying to end up, okay, justice, what's this two of swords, but this, it leaves this person confused, it seems like. Yeah, Knight of Cups. It leaves them confused, but they jump into the reconciliation. What's the Three of Cups? Or it leaves you confused. Yeah, but you think about the past. Yeah, could be a, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This this resonates with me because I'm Aquarius North Node, but there I am right here coming out. There you go into a reconciliation. I think. There I am again. I know. I am an Empress. I'm the fucking empress. Some of y'all are the empress and y'all motherfucking masculine. Because y'all planted the seed in his ass in the past. He's coming back. He's coming back. And for some of y'all, y'all are the masculine. And this this girl playing games and shit. Talking about all a competition, this is a competition. They're breaking your heart. Now she's going to come on back and put her pride to the side and get down and beg for this new beginning. Because, baby, I didn't mean it. Baby, I'm begging, baby, I'm begging, begging, baby. Here she go. What about what we grew already? She could be a water sign. Or a fire sign, but she's going to put her pride to the side because she realized she caused the stagnation at this point. It's time to move forward. But that's not my case. Now, that part is not my case. I'm moving forward. I'm ready to give birth to the damn new beginning, and I'm not being stagnated for no motherfucker. You hear me? And don't you either. If it's meant to be to come fucking catching up with you. Life is like magnetics. Everything that is, uh, everything that's supposed to think about life like this, you're a magnet, okay? And everything that is in your life is supposed to be attracted to you, okay? So as soon as you get a close enough proximity with it, it's going to come flying your way because you already attracted it in your vibration by moving forward, keeping your vibration high. You ain't got to stop, turn around, hey, you're going to come, you're going to wait, let me wait on you. Uh, -uh we ain't supposed to do that, even though we do because we love people, you know, but we ain't supposed to. I'm guilty too. I ain't. I wait on the motherfucker, wait on the motherfucker three fucking years. Didn't give me shit. But I bet y'all moving forward. You know, you got to move forward. Move forward It's like a magnetic. And sometimes it's, even if you know, in your head you can know. And it still won't be enough to make you go. If that, if that makes sense. I know y'all know what I mean. There you go. What we got for Aquarius? God, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors. Messages for Aquarius. Messages do we have for the Aquarius? Message for Aquarius. Okay, that was too many. Message for Aquarius. Message for Aquarius. So let's keep going. Abundance. First card out is abundance. Yes, I like that. Some of us are going to be fruitful and patient. Somebody, maybe you being impatient or somebody's being impatient with you. This is, yeah. Impart uh, impartiality. So it's like uh, two, of, this is like two of pentacles energy, which is like one foot in and one foot out. You don't know yet. Somebody's being impatient because somebody's being impartial. Maybe they're, one, they're putting, putting it off on work. Yeah. Yeah, self-work and search. Somebody's being 
thinking about completely they self and going to work. <laughs> and it's causing you to be shitty because you know some abundance to get to. And you're being coming impatient because this motherfucker's impartiality and trying to bury it in work. So it makes you upset. I get that. I absolutely get that. Abundance. Because you know it's abundance. Maybe this person just don't because they're afraid. But you're getting impatient. Like, bitch, are you going to keep the mansion and me waiting? <laughs> Abundance. Why is this here? For Aquarius. Clarify this Abundance card. For Aquarius. Did I give eight cards or six? I couldn't remember. I don't know, I'm moving through it. I ain't feeling bad about no time. You got the message, you got the message. No matter how long time I say, I have to stop worried about that time. If I got the message out, it don't matter how long it took me, how short it took me. The message got out. Clarify this abundance for Aquarius. Some fruition or some big, something big is coming. Abundance. Clarify this abundance card for Aquarius, please. Clarify. This abundance card for Aquarius. <laughs> abundance. Clarify it. Yes, I like it. I like it. Two of Cups on the bottom with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Okay, and Divine Masculine. Bringing in the love offer. Yeah, somebody's going to be bringing the love. It looks like on the bottom of that deck. But we let's talk about now and here. You're putting down the burdens or something because it's, it's too fucking very happy. You know why you're putting down the burdens of it? Because the motherfucker got you fucked up. They left you out in the cold. Made you feel left out in the cold. One or another, whatever it is, it's you or them. Somebody's left feeling out of the cold here and it's too much on them. So they're putting it down. And when they're putting it down, they're dropping that heavy ass burden. But they're going to be extremely guarded to the situation. But I don't, I, I do feel like it's a relationship, abundance in a relationship. And I feel like now the person's going to be guarded here. And uh, the person don't realize how abundant it, abundant it is. And that's why the other person is impatient with this person. Because they're not taking charge or leadership or bringing an offer. Because they don't possibly realize how abundant it is. Because they're confused. Because it is a lover's connection. Okay. Impatient. But I do feel like your finances are going to be blessed here. And you're going to be guarding them bitches, protecting them, nine of wands from everybody that you think might be trying to get some of your money, some of your peace, some of your energy. You're going to be protecting, guarding the fuck out your shit. Yeah, the magician, the empress. Yeah, this is you, the empress. Queen of cups. <laughs> yeah, the empress. This is you. That's why I said, look, this is you, Aquarius. I feel like the Aquarius woman would be the empress. And if you're Aquarius male, you're the emperor. Or you're working on becoming. But I feel like the Empress is very impatient with you. Or the Emperor is very impatient with the Empress. Because motherfuckers is playing games here. Staying trapped. Being confused. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. You want this abundance or you don't. So guess what? A motherfucker decide, hey, I'm going to sell in the calm waters by myself. Because I ain't got time for your impartiality, motherfucker. I don't got time for it. Impartiality. Clarify. One minute you one way and the next minute you another. I ain't got time for that bullshit. I'm going by myself. Yeah, that's what the Queen of Cups, the Empress, decided. And look at the King of Cups. Says, you say what? The King of Cups coming out now. What? Impartiality. Yes, because bitch, you the one impartial. The Queen of Cups is the one over here. The Empress having a problem with you. So the King of Cups is saying you impartial. King of Cups, she says, the Queen of Cups says the King of Cups is impartial. He say, impartial, you say. And he's stressed out. She called me impartial. She called me impartial. She said the reason we were stagnated is because I'm impartial. Well, you are a workaholic, mister. Look, so now back and forth communication coming because the Queen of Swords, there you are. You know, turn into you know, turn into viciously like uh I'm demanding truth, I'm demanding clarity, I'm demanding what I need to know. Uh you need to take this leap of faith in order for us to have fruition, or I'm walking the fuck away. So which one are you gonna do? And guess what the King of Cups do? He gets up. He gets up. Confusing all, he gets the fuck up and ready to stand his ground with us seven of wands around this happiness. He put the end to the bullshit, to the swords and going up in this lover's connection. Uh huh, that's what the fuck she thought. Okay, workaholic, clarify, she knew what the fuck she was doing, not all of them, though, some, that one she, that shit backfired on her ass, she played too much, is what I'm hearing, workaholic, she had good intentions, though, she just, she learned from that shit, workaholic, clarify it, for Aquarius, yeah, Knight of Pentacles, this shit, this somebody, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, a motherfucker to be taking their damn time, putting all their effort and work into being perfect and shit, and painting a picture, missing that. Look at that. There's some clarity. Somebody's coming in here with, oh, yeah, look at that. Workaholic. 
The workaholic is coming here to spread something. Why? Because you done walked the fuck away. Now you walking away is bringing this workaholic in here. And they moving slow, but they coming in here with clarity. And it's unknown. You don't know it. You ain't you ain't ex, you ain't expecting this shit. Somebody's coming in to communicate to you. Whoever got the Aquarius place in you, somebody's coming in to communicate. And you are not aware of it. That happened. That was just in your head too, I think. That somebody's coming to start to bring new offer of love with you. Heck yes. I color of course. I love when it all correlates. That made me feel good. You know, that means that, that just boosts up my efforts and my talents of how good I already know I am. It just confirms it. You know, like confirm on top of confirming. On top of confirming, confirming. Alright? Alright. Is that what I got for you? That's what I got for you. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Yeah, I know they short this week, but that's okay. The message is the message, and I'm going to stay.